So guys, so as the title says, this is going to be a little bit of a rant because you see right here, this was actually my game just before my Super Bowl uh, game. I made it to the playoffs, won my games, and you see right there um, in the beginning of the video, my guy, you know, he quit. I think it was in the beginning of the second quarter. It was a bad game for him. He was throwing like three picks. He just was not um, having a good game. Paused the game and quit, and I'm thinking to myself, all right, I've one of the easiest championship games I've had in a while. So here we go, straight to the Super Bowl. And this screen right here, I'm sure it's happened to everybody. If anyone has never gone through this, I envy you. You are extremely lucky. But for those of you, I don't even have to say what this screen is. You guys already know what this is. Um, the game, yeah, it just froze right here in the loading screen, man. You guys already know what that means. It's definitely not the first time it's happened to me. It's happened before. But guys, honestly, this is happening way too often for this game. I mean, I know this patch just came out today. And I've seen people complain that, you know, allegedly that this loading screen freeze stuff is happening more often ever since the patch I mean people say that out, like almost after every patch but still I mean I this stuff has got to stop this is getting ridiculous I mean do you know how deflating that was man to you know to win all those games make the playoffs and then just for it to do that so you see right here I, I turned the game off after a while because I did I didn't record the whole thing I let that thing load for like maybe seven eight minutes it just never loaded so I just gave up on it nothing else to do except close the game and load it back up and as you see right here it gave me the coins for finishing the season or at least getting as far as I did and gave me the payout gave me the red zone pack you guys see uh, right here so oh I'm sorry no touchdown pack but um anyways yeah so that was just completely deflating man all my my uh, effort and whatnot to try and make the Super Bowl which I technically did and it all just got tossed away like that. Just like that. Snap of a finger. It's all just gone down the drain like it never happened. And that shit's got to stop, man. But anyways, guys, let me know real quick in the comments, guys. Have you guys gone through this recently? Or have you ever just never gone through it at all? But, you know, I don't just want to make this a, a complete negative video. I do, I, you know, just want to take the time to put up a, a quick lineup update. Which has, you know, definitely have been a few changes to the team. First of all, quarterback Dan Marino. I threw the uh, conductor and uh, hot route master ability on him. And that, it, it's definitely helpful. You guys, I can promise you that still got Larry Zonka I powered him down to the 89 and he still gets it done with that bulldozer ability still gets me those tough yards Jalen Waddle if you guys see my recent videos you guys know he kills at 95 speed gonna be a great addition for the team or great long-term player Ronnie Brown team of the week man you know I had to try him out nothing against Morstead but you know 93 speed I can't pass that up and trust me I got no regrets the guy falls forward a lot a lot more than I thought he would Jamar Chase, same thing, 91 speed, doesn't see the field as much, but you know, he's like a good backup receiver. I just, you know, Will Fuller did just get the upgrade today, so I powered him powered him up as far as he can go. Once again, just like Jalen Wald, he also has 95 speed with the with all the speed boost. So two 95 speed receivers running across the field, man. That is a nice combination. So definitely happy to have him. My old line has basically have zero changes. You know, still got Jesse Davis, Incognito, Pouncey, Zietler, Bulaga on the side, so not too many changes there, but uh, Gesicki right here at the, at the tight end had Kyle Pitts for a long time. Still have him. It's a nice backup, but once this Gesicki card came out, I had to get him, powered him up. 87 speed. Actually, no, I'm sorry, 88 speed technically with that strategy card. So same speed as Pitts, but uh, definitely with the uh, theme team Dolphin boost. Uh, happy to have him. Fitzpatrick still as the uh, free safety. No problems there. Joey Porter, same thing. Powered him up. Uh, just just like Zonka, I powered him up as far as he can go, and he does definitely does damage on the field. Parsons, I don't use him anymore, but he's definitely my second uh, linebacker on the field. McMillan, he is my QB spy. Now that Ma uh, Michael Vick is out, you need someone like him. I got him up to 91 speed. Definitely a player that can chase Vick around the field. Seau, I finally got lurker ability on one of my linebackers. I just wish he had faster speed. I think I've only got him up to like 86 speed. Parsons, he's definitely just, for now, he was my QB spy guy for a while, but now that I got McMillan, and he's just more like a filler spot cam chancellor i've only got him up to an 87 nothing crazy there so slowly building him up same thing with adrian amos just got him as a backup with the abilities as well uh as far as corners go i still got howard and jones i know the mccordy uh, uh jason mccordy upgrade is out there but just haven't gotten around to get him yet but i definitely need to upgrade my corners man they sometimes they do okay for now but there are times where they just get burnt with speedy receivers Jack Youngblood, no additions. I did power him up because I knew that the new card came out of the upgrade became available, so I got that. Butler is just here for a filler spot from the team team. Uh, Tommy Harris, I, I look, I, I've been wanting to get him ever since he came out. I mean, 84 speed for a D tackle is crazy. He's got some good D line stats as well. And Dominic can sue, same thing as Porter and Sanka. Just power him up as far as I can go, and he does pretty well with the abilities. 
Um, as far as the gold corner right here, same thing, just for the theme team boost. And of course, I just mentioned Byron Jones for my corners. One of them's got to go. I think I'm going to upgrade Jones with McCourty because, I, like I said, I need faster corners out there with these speedy receivers coming out. Special teams, same thing, didn't change. My two Dolphins. I got lucky with my kicker that the, one of the best kickers in the game out the gate was a Dolphin, so I got lucky there. But anyways, guys, the last time I um, I put a video out, I had nearly a million coins. As you can see here, I'm down to 200,000 because I had a huge makeover on my team. But guys, I definitely am having a gameplay uploaded later today. Be on the lookout for that. Trying to stop Michael Vick with Raekwon McMillan, that is. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments, guys, how you feel. I'll see you guys then. Peace.